Okay, with this problem, we need to see if the triangles are similar. And if so, write a similarity statement. So the first thing I need to do is see if I can prove them similar. The three theorems that I could use are the A, A or angle, angle similarity postulate, or the S, S, S similarity theorem, which is the side, 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 or I could do um, side angle side similarity theorem. Um, in this case, um, I'm looking at only one angle right here at T that they share, and we know this congruent because of the reflexive property. And then I'm looking at two sides, which to me says I need to use the side angle side theorem, especially because that angle is in between the two sides. Um, so, Let's just make sure that they're similar. So let's see, what's the whole length here? So 12 plus 4.8 is going to be 16.8. Um, so that's the whole length. And then we have 10 plus 4, um, and that is going to equal 14. So now, is this whole length of 14, does it um, have the same scale factor 10 that 16.8 has to 12. So we're going to try um, setting up a proportion where it's 14 over 10 should equal, um, let's see here, 16.8 uh, over 12. Okay, let's just see if that is true. Well, 10 times 16.8 um, is 168, and 12 times 14 is also 168. So I know this is true. So the two triangles are similar via side angle side theorem. Um, so now what I need to do is write that similarity statement. This is where things get um, a little... Um, well, we just have to make sure that we keep things in order. So a similarity statement is just simply stating that this big triangle here is similar um, to the smaller one right in here. So we just need to make sure when I say keep things in order, I'm talking about how we name the triangle. So the first triangle I name, I could name it in whatever order I want. So if I'm looking at the big one, I'm going to do the big triangle first. I'm just going to say R, V, T. Doesn't matter what order I put it in, whatever. Um, and then I'm going to put a little thing that it's similar to this other triangle, and that's where I need to be careful. So right here at R, I started with R on this side. So I need to start with the angle that corresponds to R in the smaller triangle. That is going to be S. Okay, so I need to put S first. I can't not put it there. It has to go there. Then the next letter is V. Um, and so that is this corner angle right here. Which one corresponds to that? Well, that is U right here. So U's got to go next. And then T, the one that corresponds with it is T, of course, because those are the two congruent that we know for sure. Okay, so that is a similarity statement, but I can also mess up the order and I can go, okay, well, I'm just going to, I'm going to call it VRT this time. And again, I'm going to see, okay, well, what corresponded with T over, over here? Well, that was U, so I just have to put U first on this side, and what corresponded with R over here? That was the first one, which is S, so that comes next, and then T, T. Another way, again, I could do T, um, R, V, similar to um, triangle T, and then let's see, V corresponds with U, so U and then R. Oops, no, no, no. I need to do R, which corresponds with S, so that's going to be triangle T, S, U. Okay, and that's how that works. So there's a bunch of different orders we can do it in, as long as they're all corresponding and in the right order. That's how we can write those similarity statements.